like you said, I think this is going to be just another thing that the refs are going to have in their pocket. If and so Roger Goodell makes the call and says, yeah, this needs to be the outcome of this game. So use the new rule. Yeah, Maybe. use the new rule. Welcome back to I'd Have a Beer. The I'd Have a Beer podcast is presented by Iron Soul. All their information will be in the bio below. Go check them out. New episodes out every week. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube. And Mike, tell them what to do. Slam those buttons. You know what to do. Slam those buttons. Murder those buttons. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And we need your help. We're so close. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, give us the five-star rating that we absolutely deserve. And share this episode with a friend. They'll love it. Hit the follow on all of our social media at IHAB Podcast. Michael, tell them what is coming up. We're deep into March Madness, okay? Huge. We're going to go over our bracket and what happened. What happened, man? We're going to let you know what happened to our bracket. We're going to go through the new kickoff rules that are happening in the NFL that we're adopting from the XFL. We're going to get in some news that you might be hearing about, about some celebrities and some stars, and a bunch of other good things that you want to hear about this week. But before, I'd have a beer. The methods that we had to pick these winners, uh, I thought we were bulletproof. Bulletproof. Never been heard of. There was science behind it. You know, we were like Baylor rhymes with basketball. That's a full, that's a foolproof plan. Foolproof. Okay, we had the nipple. You got the nipple. I got the nipple. When you flip the nipple, it, I mean, you win. Well, you win. I've made all my life well, choices by flipping this nipple. I'm looking at this right now. This bracket, by the way, where does it say? Okay, yeah, let's just get this out of the way, folks. All right, I'll read yeah. you the overall ranking as of today. Today, uh, Tuesday, March 26. We are officially out of the March Madness bracket with sweepstakes. We are not winning the one billion dollars this year, but there's next year. <sighs> we'll get it next okay? year. We'll we are year. ranked two million six hundred thirty-four thousand one hundred and two. Hey, that's not bad. I that's mean, not bad. It's better than three million. Better than three million. There's a lot of there's a lot of people in the United States. That's a pretty good number right there. I mean, come on now, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it went ba- it went bad fast. Uh, that Michigan State Mississippi game that <sighs> I can't seem to find on here. Oh, there they are, right there. That was the first game. Uh, y- you wasn't looking good. Halftime kind of close. Second half, no dice. No dice. That wasn't bad enough. Yeah. Just gonna, I'm gonna take a gander here at our championship game that we had. Yeah, here. who we got that? We, well, yeah, yeah, they're not in it. They're not mm. in it anymore. Kentucky, they're Number not in three. it. They're not in the second round. They're not in the Sweet Sixteen. They're not going to the Elite Eight. They're not going to Final Four. They lost they the very lost, first game. They lost the very first game to the 14 seed Oakland. Who? What? Who are they? Who are <laughs> Oakland? If you're watching March Madness, we're into the Sweet 16, and which brings us to the I'd Have a Beer Sweet 16 bracket. We started all the way to the Sweet 16. We put together and conglomerated all the best beer. And now we bring to you the I'd Have a Beer March Madness bracket, where you vote. You tell us who moves on to the next week. We'll be posting nonstop on our social media. You get to tell us who moves on. And I tell you what, we have no Kentucky beers in this bracket because they don't deserve to be in there. That's for sure. Yes. So we will need you guys to participate in this and vote every day on what beer you want to see in the finals here. That's it. Only one beer will be crowned the 2024 champion. The NFL's got new rules to responsibly keep their players safe. On the kickoff. Yeah. Okay. If you're familiar with the NFL and you ever see a game, it starts off like this. They kick the ball off. One team starts running towards the other team and they block. And then the Mm -hmm. kicker tries to weave his way through and score a touchdown. It's sick. It's amazing. It's how it should be. Not anymore. Manny Motz, tell us this new rule and what the hell we're going to see this year in the NFL past all the new players and trades that have been going on. Please tell us. Yes. So the NFL owners and coaches had their meetings this week, and they voted to basically adapt the XFL kickoff rule, 
And if you don't know what that already is, like 10 members of the kicking team will be on their 35 and 30 yard line, which is apparently called now the setup zone. The ball will drop between the 20 yard line and the goal line called the landing zone. All right. Yeah. Where the receiving team will have one or, or more likely two receivers. If the ball lands in the end zone or goes out of the end zone, Resulting a touchback will be spotted at the 30-yard line. If it's kicked out of bounds, the ball will be placed at the 40. Yeah, 40? Uh, at the 40, yes. 40-yard line? Yeah, this is wild. Hopefully, I guess the hope is, they'll have a lot less injuries with this type of kickoff. Even, this is crazy. This is a, how the hell did this pass? Even if they don't, they don't catch the ball and it goes out in the end zone, you start on the 40-yard line, you that's what this it says. is a free field goal. That's what, they, that's what it says. Also, not the game of football that we have known. Come to love. Every, every season, apparently besides this n- new season, 2024 now. Yeah. What the hell? You want, you want to know why hockey is such a good spectator sport? For the oh, fights. Yeah. We want to see you slam up against the ice. You, why football is good? Because I want to see you slam somebody. And you, Brian Dawkins is my favorite because he slammed people. Now I get to watch this kickoff and this little boy is going to juke one guy and then he scores a touchdown. That's I don't like this rule too because they had like they had the fair catch rule too. So it's not like yeah. these guys are just getting absolutely blindsided. Were there any you know, they, injuries last year because of kickoffs? I'm sure, I can't. but you know what? I'm sure, but I also would like to see the stats on the turf. Well, uh, you know, the turf monsters getting these guys. Absolutely. You know, my, you know, you know, especially at MetLife. I think they're they're making this too much of a. Let's just play flag football at this point. I well, can't. I can't uh, do a kickoff. The kickoff puts them at the forty. How about we just do five yards of a field in a end zone and end zone and just see a hundred to one hundred fifty game. I think there's going to be a lot of kick returns because now you you know the the amount of real estate that you just have to get past is a lot smaller of a of a line of players than before i think i don't know maybe I, there could have been more holes you know made up for people blocking and stuff more down the, i don't know how it's going to play off i just i i, I don't I, I, to me it sounds like i catch the ball i find my opening while i'm running and i dart for that hole and if I did, if I skip one guy, I'm off. I'm gone. Touchdown. Bye now. You like your point. Next, what's next? Flag football? No. We right. you, we know what else is next because there was another rule change that also happened this week. And Mike, tell them if you don't already know, now you know. They've added another way for the refs to take control of the Pretty game much. and make up a, a call when it's needed. When it's yep. needed, they make up a call. Holding, yeah, that never really worked. We all questioned their holding. Illegal touching somehow came out of nowhere. That's a new one right. they started doing. Offsides when they want to throw that around whenever. Now there's a new one. They're banning the hip drop tackle. And if you don't know what that is, imagine this. The wide receiver's running with the ball. You run alongside with the wide receiver, and you wrap your le- your arms around his legs, and you put your weight onto his legs, and you take him down. That is banned now. How else am I supposed to tackle somebody? It's a clean tackle. Yes, I'm putting my weight on his leg, so maybe that it causes some injuries. What am I supposed to pick him up, spin him in a circle, and gently lay him on the floor? You're supposed to and tap then him. Kiss That's him two on hands. the helmet. Two hands, I got you. Two hand touch, yeah. Mike. What the hell is this? So I and how do you do that live time where the tackle happens in three seconds? You're like, oh, wait, wait. Did you land well, on his legs here? Well, that's yeah. why I think this, this is going to be very – yeah, how are you supposed to call that in, in real-time, fast no NFL speed? I, like, like you said, I think this is going to be just another thing that the refs are going to have in their pocket. If and so, Roger Goodell makes the call and says, yeah, this needs to be the outcome of this game. So use the new rule. Yeah, maybe. use the new rule. It, it's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. We're putting more – live action moments in, 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 in control of the refs and they're yeah. going to just take over a game. If there's a way I'd like to make a sports book, I'll take the, the heat on the sports book, Mikey Bugatti sports book, okay. put your money on the Eagles. You can put your money on the giants or 
you can put your money on the refs, okay? Ooh. And who wins the game? Either the game is clear, they just scored a touchdown, they won, or they, a flag has caused them to win the game and they got closer for a field goal. That's something that should be included in bets. Will the ref ruin the game? Plus 100. I That's not already bet. a thing? That's, That's not somehow lot. not already a thing. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Yeah, it's a ter- it's, it's a, I tell you yeah, what, I, if there's a bet on the sports book for the amount of uh, runbacks for touchdowns, I'm taking that. I'm going to take over 10. I am, not everybody will agree might agree with this, but I believe there's going to be a lot more kick returns yeah. next year just because of the maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I got to go back and watch like some XFL and see how frequently that happens. But I, mm. I, I don't know. We don't like the new rules, obviously. New rules blow. We don't new like rules the new blow. rules. They should do. Well, I don't know why they don't take this in, in consideration. Why not? Because aren't these rules based on viewership and to get higher ratings? Yeah, and people, uh, believe it or not, I think, I I don't know, this might not be a general statement, but I truly believe that people like, like you brought up hockey, people like the contact, the fast, the smashing, stuff like that. When's the last time you tuned into a flag football game? I I can't even tell you if I've ever seen it, other than I like fifth grade I was playing. They should have it in which they these bills get proposed to the public and they vote whether we are into it or not. And it plays into the consideration of passing the law. But like, OK, we've all voted yeah. for it. But 90 percent of America said this is not a good idea. Don't do it. If you haven't seen it already, new Netflix. Is it new? Is it a new Netflix or not Netflix Hulu series? I watched it on Hulu. Well, I watched it on Amazon, but it's okay. a new series. OK. New series, it, it, Quiet on the Set, correct? It's called yes, Quiet on the Set. That is the one. Oof. Guys, if you have not seen this, if you grew up watching uh, The Amanda Show, all that, Drake and Josh, Nickelodeon in general, you need to check out Quiet on the Set on Hulu, Amazon, search it. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. What I thought was just going to be one episode and then, you know, I would have been went on with my day, ended up finishing the whole entire thing. Yeah. I was extremely stressed out watching that. Yeah. Wow. You finished it too? I finished it too. And overall, <sighs> yeah. Drake's kind of a bitch for that, you know? So then that happens. <laughs> nice 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 no it was it was that was terrible that was incredibly hard to watch and i don't even know i don't even know how i would it takes a strong man to come out and say that that happened to you and say it out loud and give even the slightest amount of detail where he gave almost none but enough for you to understand what happened man i was watching this show and i was just getting aggravated like pissed off i'm like uh, you know, these freaks. It's just sketchy. Wild shit. Wild shit. And I never thought in a million years would be happening. But the sick part about it is it's probably happening in other companies. What about Disney? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably happening in other shows and they're just not out right now. And and maybe this is giving enough strength for those people to reach out. But such it, it was such a cynical, like, he manipulated his way yep. into this guy's oh, yeah. life. To ensure that even if he did say something, I'll ruin his life. Uh, you won't work again. You know, like that's terrible. That's terrible. And he was stuck in a tough position. Like, because he knew this guy knew his father. If anybody was going to stop this guy from doing the things he wanted to do to Drake, was going to be his father. So he Brian got Drake. Peck. Brian What's his name? Peck. Brian, Brian Peck. He like played with Drake's head so much that he got Drake to basically isolated away from his father his father Mm. was his manager and then no more dude they got this guy this is what pissed me off this guy was taking drake to disneyland or disney world whatever it is out in cali like once a week just the two of them come on guys what you know the no no flags there no red flags popping up I would have went to jail uh, multiple times in that show and then I would have got out of jail 
And right when I got out of jail, I would have visited this guy again and I would have fucking done. I would have tried to kill him again if he wasn't already dead. And I would have went straight back to jail again. Right back. Right back (laughs) to jail. The the fact that this guy only went to jail for 16 months. Unbelievable. Uh, Are you kidding? And then and then Drake's dad is not waiting outside the prison. Like, yeah, I'm here to pick him up. That's on his ride. And then he dies. We die together. I drive off the bridge with him. (sighs) unbelievable wild show unbelievable and then you come to find out you watch all this you you know, come to find out like all right so what happened to dan schneider and like his team you know and what I think happened that, what happened to amanda Bynes? oh well dude amanda Bynes got they didn't even up, touch upon that but she went off the deep end years oh ago and we all God. were like oh she went crazy maybe she did not go crazy well I, look at these child actors like macaulay Culkin. Or whatever, Macaulay right. Culkin, whatever, however you say his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, Dude yeah. looks like he did heroin for 15 years of his life. He yeah. looks sketchy. He was a child actor, too. He was just an American Horror Story. You want to know what uh, role he had? What? A drug addict. Because that's what he looks like right now. That's the only role he can get right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy it was crazy. Smokes. Yeah, it was crazy. I, it made me wild. rethink all the shows I watched as a kid. And I now I have to rewatch them back again to ensure that I don't see things that, you know, don't freak me out. Okay. You know, like Double Dare, that show was awesome. Love Wild. that show. Wild. That was on there too, is what you're telling me? All the Ugh. shows, dude. And it's crazy to think Drake went on and just did however yeah. many seasons of Drake and Josh to this event happening with this guy. Yeah. Like and that didn't happened. Didn't say and then anything. Like two days later, he's like, I got to go do a show. Yeah. I got to go shoot the pilot. Wild, f- dude. Oh. That's nuts. To jump off this darkness that has happened. What are yeah. some of your favorite 90s shows that you used to watch that if it came on? Or I, I got one better for you. If yeah. you could be on one of those 90s shows, what would those be? Whether it be a game show or just a normal TV life show. Uh, wow, 90s shows. Um, yeah. When did Friends start uh, coming out? I think in the uh, 90s. Probably 90s. Yeah, definitely. I think I would have liked to be a part of that cast. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That show. Yeah. Okay. You know, we, I, we have a different, we have a different take. I oh, you're doing, be, you're doing like cartoons. What are you doing here? I'm doing legends of the hidden temple <laughs> and I'm one of the contestants. Okay. And I'm winning the new telescope that can look into the sky <laughs> or, or the, the new bed set for the kids. I always thought that was the coolest show. I'm Did trying to get show? closer to Jennifer Jennifer Anderson, and this guy's trying to win a telescope. Yeah, I was the different, kid. Different lives. Yeah, we're we're different, different lives. people. Okay, I mean, listen, whatever. I, different things interest us sick. in the '90s. Different yeah, stuff absolutely. interest us. This guy was into yeah. women. I was trying to find the amulet so I could put it into the into the <laughs> the stone and unlock the next room. You don't get it. Sure, you sure. don't get it. Yeah, I was trying to be the next. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. We got to talk about the NFL draft. NFL draft, wild things coming. We're we're like a month out. Is that the you got the official draft order right there? Isn't April twenty fifth to twenty seventh. Boom. That's the day <laughs> we're looking for. It's the NFL draft. I'm sure the Bears cannot wait to go get their Wonder Boy, who apparently he can pick and choose what the hell he wants. Uh, He's laying down I- the law. I don't know a lot about the rules of the NFL draft, whether you can say yes or no to what teams pick you. And I don't know a lot about what Kalen Williams can do on the field because he hasn't played a game in the NFL yet. But apparently he can ask for a specific car, what color it comes in, how much money is it filled with, Mm -hmm. how many women are inside his mansion that he's getting. Yep. And just about anything else. All before this guy's played in the NFL. This is not... He's not Messi. He's not Ronaldo. He's not playing on other teams. He's like, oh, you want me? Here's my list of demands. You're a brand new boy, and you might shit to bed. So what, what, what am I going to pay you for? He feels, you he feels like he's going to be the next uh, Messi or the next uh, Peyton Manning. Yeah, overall, you can't pick where you go. You just go where you go. I, I the draft is broken in the sense where good players go to bad teams. Like the Browns have ruined four to five different QBs. Yeah, it's uh, been tough lives. in there. And we've talked about how they should change the draft like a lottery system, like most other sports do. 
you get the thing with the balls. You spin the balls. If you were worse, you have more balls in there. If you were good, you have one ball in there. And if your team comes out, like, say the Chiefs came out, they're not going to pick Caleb Williams. They're going to pick a yeah, tight end but or see, wide the prob- receiver. I think the issue with that is, you know, who's we're not voting on this. It's the owners that are voting yeah. on this. And the owners have deep pockets. And they look at it like, nah, if if we know early in the season it ain't going our way, guess what? We right. do know Tank. we're getting the first pick. Yeah. All right. That's what it is. But it makes the games better because guys, we have to play. No matter what we do, we have to it's not that we get the first pick, we just get more balls towards the first pick. I'd rather that personally than seeing good players get dropped off on a crappy team. They have done a lot of stuff in the offseason to make the Bears look more appealing. For this guy that maybe had some doubts about, do I really want to go to Chicago where they have failed with two quarterbacks in the last five years? It's, I mean, listen, you make good points, but you, the the Bears should just want to be better regardless. You know, you should just want to fix your team no matter who the QB is there, you know? Uh, Well, that's, that's Caleb Williams, but you know, you you brought up picking and choosing. Deion Sanders had some interesting things on a podcast to say. He brought up the fact that he thinks in the future drafts, because of college athletes now making a little cash on their own, Mm. might be able to pull what Eli did back when he got drafted. And if you don't know what Eli pulled, uh, he basically – he originally got uh, drafted by the Chargers. And then for – Some reason, I don't know how he did this, how they allowed it. Somehow basically just told the Chargers, like, I'm not going to the Chargers. And then the Giants came in and made a trade with the Chargers. And that sent Eli to the Chargers or to the Giants on draft night. And Dion believes that more quarterbacks, high profile quarterbacks like this Caleb Williams, people like that will be able to now go into the draft and say, You know, if the Bears have their first pick, let's say, and Caleb Williams saw that and was just like, you know what? I'm not going to the Bears, so you can draft me all you want, but I'm not going to go, and even if I got to show up, I'm not going to play. What do you think about that? I think that's a bunch of BS. That's a (laughs) bunch of bullshit. uh, How much are you making in these NIL deals? How much are you making? I think Sanders on in Sanders in Colorado, I think yeah. he makes anywhere from three to four million. Okay, for how long? No idea. His tenure in college. I don't know. So when you're done with college, they don't pay you anymore, right? I don't think so because I believe the NIL is only for college athletes. That's right. That's right, Manny. So if I don't draft you in the NFL, where are you gonna go? You gonna go what are you gonna do? You gonna get a job? You gonna get a good job that's gonna pay you a million dollars a year? What job are you gonna get? I see. I see what you're doing here. Okay. So I think you shut up. You take the football and you yep. throw it in whatever city I tell you to throw it in, because <laughs> I'm paying you a hundred x times the average job that any you're gonna get if you don't come to the NFL. So I don't think you get to pick. I think it's here's the dinner plate in front of you with your team on it. Eat. So Chicago Bears, we're thinking it's a done deal. Caleb Williams going. Has to be him. It has to be him. Okay. So the Washington Commanders have the second pick. And in like a matter of two weeks, J.J. McCarthy's draft stock has climbed to where he might be the number two pick in the draft now. Mm-hmm. Is that an overreaction, do you think? Do you think that this is an overreaction? Do you think? What do you think? you think J.J. McCarthy's the guy? you think he's? this is all smoke and mirrors by his former coach? What well, do you, you think? Put in, you put in good work on a day where everyone's watching you. Yeah. You have no choice but to be put up higher. That makes sense to me. I can uh, – you watch all my college tapes. Yeah, I did good because, like, and there's not too much pressure. Now it's the big pressure day. Everyone's watching, and I showed up. All right, this guy can do it. Hell yeah, your your stock should go up. And if other players like Caleb Williams are not working out, then of course my stock's going to go up. Okay. So, I mean, okay. So, J.J. McCarthy could be a Washington commander crazy. So then New England Patriots at three. 
they need a quarterback. So they're picking a quarterback in this draft. They got they what, is Bailey Zappi still over there? Even if he is, they still need a QB. They're in, picking a QB in New England. I'm hearing some crazy things. Arizona Cardinals at number four. They yeah. got Kyle Murray, but they still are gonna need a QB. Boom. And then at five is the LA Chargers. Probably they don't need Justin a QB. Herbert. Don't need a QB. Right? They don't need a QB. They need a wide receiver now that Keenan Allen's gone. Mm. New York or, Giants. I'm sorry, s- Eckler's gone too. They need oh, a running yeah. back. They need yeah, a they lot. Need, they need a running back. Yeah, they need wide receivers. There's there's the wide receiver from Ohio State. There's the wide receiver from LSU. They yeah, they can probably get. They, they have options. Prop, they're gonna, they got options. They're gonna fix. Number six, the Giants. Giants probably if one of these guys. Still around, probably take a quarterback because I think it's pretty clear at this point. Yeah, their future quarterback is not on the team. Yeah, no, it's not there. You're definitely getting a QB, or like giant fashion, they might trade with another team for a further down pick and give you know, give hope to someone else. I heard that too. I heard that too. I, speaking of trading, yeah, Philadelphia Eagles are sitting at 22. We'll move up for fact. Yeah. I know it. Yes. Okay. If, if there's one thing I've learned over the past few years, that front office knows how to draft a team, and that front office knows how to how to pick up players. and And we're cooking right now. I I think we need an offensive lineman, and we're going to be in those top ten picks. Wow. I so, have a feeling. So you you think if they move up, they're drafting a lineman? <sighs> we got it. Let me let me name to you some players on this team. And on I, team, yes, on your team right now. Uh, yes, yes, okay. I am an Eagles fan. Yes, I'm going. I'm going to hype them up. But I'm going to name players to you, and you tell me when you don't hear an All Star player. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jalen Hurts. Nope. Saquon Barkley. Nope. AJ Brown. No. Nope. Devontae Smith. No. Nope. Dallas Goddard. Nope. Jordan Maialata. No, nope. Jordan Davis, who? Jalen Carter, Nicobe mm-hmm. Dean, who? What? <laughs> these are these are big boy linemen. Okay, Hassan Mike. Reddick, sure. James Bradbury, James Bradbury, C.J. Gardner Johnson, yep. Darius Slay. Uh-huh. These dude, these are big yep. names. There, you guys have huge names. But didn't you guys have huge names on your team last year too? And what happened? Listen, we dominated the, for the oh, first twelve God. weeks. So what? You can weeks. you can win the first fourteen weeks if you don't win the last, uh, you know, the last ones. Right? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> I think what we need here is I, a nice yeah, center. Okay. You have a nice. I center. want the best center. Yeah, is what okay. I want. You know, I think I think there's too many personalities and egos on that Philadelphia Eagles team now. Yeah, we don't care about that. Yeah, I think AJ Brown is getting a little pissed that he's not. Going to, he's not the number one. Uh, he wasn't targeted enough. Jalen Hurts runs with the ball too much. He needs to throw it to me more. Now Saquon's there. You don't think they're going to be running more? They're definitely going to be running more. I Listen, think A.J. Saquon's Brown blows up get. midseason on the Eagles' <laughs> request to trade. That's what I think. <laughs> yep. There's no way that happened. A.J. Brown, even with all these egos on one team, there is one thing for certain that we know is true and we all want. Is a Super Bowl, okay, oh, and yeah. that's that's why Saquon came here because he wants to win. He got tired of losing. Yeah, he also wanted he also wanted thirty million dollars, and they gave it to him. <laughs> so that might have had something to do with it. Well, I don't know where, you, where you, where's your guys' money at. Stop paying one hundred twenty five million dollars to Daniel Jones to sit on the bench. <laughs> he was really good <laughs> against those Vikings two years ago. It's like unbelievably good. Guy was crazy then. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. You know, I had a rough one last year, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tough. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. The, the Giants will screw up this draft. <laughs> the Giants will screw up this draft. Well, we're going to draft. Always, yeah. You guys we're going to so draft. Want- if we draft another lineman, I'm turning it off <laughs> and immediately, and I'm not watching anything about the Giants until the season starts in September. You guys somehow always draft such an underwhelming player for like the past four years. All right. And we've been blessed and lucky. We get like Devontae Smith. 
We got stolen Jalen Hurts. from the Giants. Yep. You, <laughs> we've traded up for that. <laughs> yeah. And, when and it guess comes what's going to gonna happen this time? You guys are going to, some, for some dumb reason, the Giants going to be like, yeah, we don't need the six pick. We'll trade <laughs> yeah. with the Eagles. Yeah. We'll, and we'll we switch. take your QB and yeah. we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then he throws for six touchdowns every time we play. Yep. Right. It's good. Right. Sweet. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yep. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. <sighs> I got, got breaking news here. We're this no is way. just wild how this is coming in right now. Okay. Sex offender fired. Jags employee gets 220 year prison sentence for producing child sexual abuse material. Hacking Jumbotron. Uh, 220 you, year <laughs> sentence in prison? You didn't get the ESPN notification? 220 let me do the math there. That's a yeah, lifetime. He's dying in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a long lifetime. He yes. put it on the jumbotron to like, watch it. Yeah, but like, the, when? When? What game? Yeah, yeah. Who? Who's the judge that makes that court case? Is like on the one account for sex offender, you go to jail for two hundred and twenty years. Just say life. Just say for life. There's oh, no they fucking. They're sending that guy a message. Yeah, where, 220 where years. It? That's such a crazy number. But Brian Peck gets 16 months. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? Who, what's the range? Who, Who chooses was these that numbers? person's attorney? Who's, Who's the, yeah. yeah, I want him. The dude, other guy, why? the Jags attorney's like, you're going away, dude. There's it's like, listen, bro, here. it don't matter yeah. who you got. Yeah. You're going. Yeah. <laughs> it's 200 plus. I can't even. It was I got him? I broke him. I, I broke him down to 200. You all right with that? During three season games, causing the video boards to malfunction repeatedly. Uh, it doesn't. He didn't. So yeah, the child did. stuff has nothing to do with the Jumbotron. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he didn't like. You weren't watching a game. Like, the Jags weren't playing the Panthers. And it's like, it's third down. And, and then there's a video of him just butt yeah. naked. Just dancing. Okay. Like, that wasn't. He just, they're just putting Wait, it together. So they, so they sentenced this guy 220 years for fucking with a Jumbotron? <laughs> That's it. Well, I, I guess he also, in 98, it shows here he was convicted of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy. Okay, so, so that, this guy is a repeat offender. How did we not hear about this during the regular season if this guy's just throwing up pictures of him whacking yeah, it off on the Jumbotron? There'd be no way that that would fly <laughs> under the radar. But... That would make sense how that's 220 years in federal prison for doing that. <laughs> yeah, because it's like X amount of people watching. Right. How many children could be at the game? Yeah. You're, you're, young, you're letting it off in front of everyone. Yeah, there's a cat. There's a formula. <sighs> Get some beers over here. Beers. Saw me sipping while I've been talking to you this all day today. I got, I'm only drinking local because I got a lot of beers to get through out here. And this is just a very classic, very easy very smooth golden ale, Arizona Gold by the Phoenix Beer Company. Okay, real nice. Like real can real, got a six pack in my house right now. Take a sip. Okay. Let me tell you. I'm gonna bring it through the gauntlet. Here we go. Yeah. What do you got? I'm not having this at dinner. This is not a dinner beer. This not is a, though. Yeah. Oh. This is a tailgating beer. This is a tailgating beer. Okay. This is. Give me the 30 it. rack. Let's play some drinking games with so some light. Arizona gold. It's light. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Very light. One got through it. 10 here. Let me get this one got? more time for you. Mm. Mm. This is a 4.5. Mm. 4.5. Tailgating beers to me taste the same. It's light. It's crisp. I can down it. It, it blends in with flavor. If you change, if I had to do a blind test between this and a Bud Light, I'd be like, Miller? So they're all the same. This beer's okay. Arizona Gold, Phoenix Beer Company. You all right. Arizona Gold. Okay. Manny Mots, what do you got over there? It looks like you were drinking some orange. It kind of looked like an orange soda. Me, not going to lie, orange soda would be pretty good right now. But I got a blood yeah. orange crush from Sloop. Okay. It's a sour ale. I like sours. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay. I didn't think I was right. going to like it. Not bad. Let's go. How we we have a dinner? Touch the lips, swirled around, spit it out. What am I having this? I just don't know what I would have to be eating to have this at dinner. Yeah, sour beer with dinner. What are you having? Uh, like a Salisbury steak, maybe some mashed potatoes. I don't know if I'm having a steak with this. Not having this at dinner. 
All Oof. right, T- tailgate. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we having this at a tailgate? No, not it. having this at a tailgate. All Negative, right. sir. Okay, the blood orange through. crush from Sloop, one through ten. This is a four point eight. Oof. Listen, listen here, listen here, everyone who's listening. What are you listen up, do? listeners? Not every beer here is a winner, and that's no. okay. And that's our job. That's why we're here to tell you what the winners and losers are. We're gonna sip through. We're ounce by ounce. We will tell you what the good beers are, and we'll take on the glory for you. We'll take on the problems. We'll sip these beers, whether we enjoy them or not, and let you know what's good and what's not good. And sometimes if they're not a good ranking, it is what it is. It is what it but is. There are some times where we need you as the fan to decide what's a good beer and what's not a good beer. And that's why our March Madness I'd Have a Beer bracket is out right now for Boom. you to vote on what the best beer is head to head. What's better, Corona, Bud Light, Guinness, Blue Moon? We need to know what you know. What's the better beer? These are the popular beers. We know you know how much they taste, what they taste like. We want to see what your favorite beer is, and we want to see them win. We're sitting here taking all the nuanced beers here, telling you which ones are good or bad. We want to hear from you. Yes. What's your favorite beer? Manny, let them know what they have to do. You got to vote. It's easy. You got to vote. We'll have the bracket out live, like Mikey Bugatti said, for you to see. We will have it on all of our social media platforms for you to vote your favorite beer and continue it on until they, they're they crown champions. You got to do it. Participate. We're not asking for a lot. Vote your favorite beer. You like beer. You like I like beer. beer. Tell Boom. us. Done. It. No Simple. problem. Easy. <laughs> all right. Let's get out of here. uh, Yeah, let's wrap this up. (laughs) Let's wrap this up. Go ahead, Gimme. Take us on out. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you tonight. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube. Give us the five-star rating if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music. And follow us on all of our social media at IHAB Podcast. Stay out of trouble, and we will see you next week. Bye. I'd have a beer. I'd have a beer.